Well, hello friends. Happy Friday. Let's get this Friday party started. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this Friday party started. Yeah, yeah. It's Friday, so let's get the party started. Celebrate the weekend, even though our weekend is gonna be full of rain, as it looks. Um, right now it looks like it's gonna be raining all weekend, but um, I'm gonna be out and about for a little while today. I have a few things I gotta do. I gotta drop off a couple packages. I gotta go to the bank. I'm gonna run into Hobby Lobby, so I want you guys to come along with me to Hobby Lobby because I'm trying to pick out something for my front porch, a big welcome sign. So I need you guys to come with so you guys can help me pick it out. You guys, you guys wanna go? Come on, let's go. Alrighty, had let's to go. Use battery. Okay, so I got gas at Kroger. I always get gas at Kroger because I can use my Kroger card, and then you get like certain, like if you have a, a lot of points on there, you can take it in percentage off or whatever. So I use three cents off or whatever from the purchase. Anyway, gas, I always get mid grade because my car does not like regular, or it doesn't like the unleaded bright regular unleaded so I always get like the mid grade so it's like just between the most expensive and the least expensive in the middle mid grade um anyway instead of it costing me 304 it cost me 301 yeah that's a huge difference um anyway uh so while I was getting gas and while I was waiting for my gas to pump I was looking through some of the comments um from my video that posted today um and yes scalloped Edges. That's exactly what it's called. Scalloped edge. Um, I was asking because that skirt that I bought from J. Crew has that scalloped edge on it, and I could not remember what that is called. And yes, thank you guys so much. Now I probably will never forget it. And if I do, that's okay. It's because my brain is 45, and I'll forget things. Um, but scalloped. And I have to remember, like, I'll have to remember scalloped potatoes. So that's how I will. Um, remember those two I'll compare those with scalloped potatoes and scalloped edges but I actually have that skirt on today it is so cute I'll show you guys later on when I get home but it is so cute I absolutely love it it fits me so well now I like want to go back or want to order um they had like a black one I think they had navy blue they had white so I think I'm gonna order all the other ones and then I just kind of paired it with this cute um top that I got from old navy the pink one um with little it, it looks great it's so cute um alrighty so now I'm headed to the bank and then I'm I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and um, I'm excited because I'm hoping now like all the times I've been to Hobby Lobby they have the exact sign that I'm looking for and this time they probably won't have what I'm looking for so but I do know that they're having a sale because somebody that I was following on Instagram the other day did um, an insta stories and on her insta stories showed that um, Hobby Lobby was having like this huge sale like everything was like 50% off well not everything but a lot of things a lot of cool good things were 50% off so I'm gonna head there as soon as I go to the Bunko so I will see you guys at Hobby Lobby yay thanks for coming along with me I hope that you guys have fun see you hey guys, in a few bye I'm in Hobby Lobby what is happening here what 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 Oh my goodness, why? It's just, it's only May. What is happening? Seriously. I like all this stuff though. So this is what I've been looking at. <laughs> I've been looking at these. And these would be so cute for like um, my porch. Wouldn't that be cute on my front porch? Let's see how much that is. Do, 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 do. $24.99 and this stuff is oops this stuff is not on sale yet but still cute lots of 4th of July stuff which I absolutely love but this what in the world and not only do they have fall they also have Christmas stuff out what why 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 not on that side though and guess what I haven't found my sign yet Alrighty, so I'm back and I did not find, I'm gonna go in the house really quick because there's a garbage truck out here. It's just a lot easier to talk. Um, okay, so, <coughs> hold on a second. <coughs> let me let this garbage truck go by and then I can go out there and talk. Because <laughs> it's so loud. Okay, 
So I went to Hobby Lobby and I could not find the welcome sign that I was looking for. And um, so I left there and I was gonna go to the other Hobby Lobby on the other side of town. And then I said, well, I'm gonna shop into Kirkland's really quick and see what they have. And Kirkland's, I found what I needed at Kirkland's. So there's one problem though with this sign. Um, <clears throat> here's the sign. So there's the welcome sign and I absolutely love it. The only thing I'm not exactly fond of is the watermelon down there on the bottom. So I'm thinking I might end up painting, <clears throat> excuse me, over that watermelon because I really don't, I really want this to sit out here all the time, not just summertime. So if I cover it up, like if I paint it white, just get rid of the bottom of it, um, I might like stencil in like the Kato's, you know, welcome the Kato's or something. I just leave it or just leave it alone. Just leave it completely alone. But I think I'm going to cover up the watermelon because I want to leave it out here for even like Halloween and Christmas time. So, and the watermelon just won't do for Halloween and Christmas. So, um, I might, I'm going to try to paint over that or come up with some other idea. But right now I'm just going to leave it like this for now because I really like the way that it looks. I think it's really cute when you walk in. You got the big welcome sign there. You got my pretty little chairs with the gingham pillows. And these pillows are the bomb. Love them. They're so big and so fluffy. But obviously when you sit down, you're going to want to like put them on the ground or something because they're so big and fluffy. But um, <clears throat> I'm very, very happy with the quality of those. And I did get those from Plow and Hearth. Um, so I really, really like those. And I definitely recommend somebody picking those up. Um, this is the other one. Um, the other one came in yesterday. And so now I have both of them here. And I'm so happy about that. So they just look really cute. And then um, I did pick up a few more things um, at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now. Okie dokie. So um, let me show you guys the things that I got at Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> um, first of all, let me just say how crazy it was to see fall stuff out and Christmas stuff out already. And it's only May. It's not even like August or July or September. <laughs> so that was a little crazy. So <laughs> I think they're rushing it just a bit. And now don't get me wrong. I love me some holiday decorations, Christmas, hol fall, Halloween, all that good stuff. But it's May, people. <laughs> It's me. But anyway, let's move on. Okay, <clears throat> so let me show you guys a few things that I picked up. The first thing that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, now let me tell you something. The, a lot, they were having a wonderful sale on their stuff. So I got this vintage mason jar, like plaque, pitcher, whatever, for $4.50, people. $4.50. This is so cute. I'm going to put this in my kitchen on top of my cabinet somewhere. Then I got these two little like drawers, which are just freaking adorable. Uh, this one was $3.25 and this one was $3.75. I mean, seriously, shut the front door. How cute were these? I mean, these are adorable absolutely freaking adorable so and i couldn't pass those by um they were regular like 12.99 to 14.99 so i mean yes had to get those and then um the other thing that i got was welcome to our patch and this is going to go on our front porch for fall and halloween time so i'm going to leave that wrapped up in the bag and just kind of put that in the closet for now and then the other thing that i picked up at hobby lobby were these fans, 4th of July fans. I'll tell you why in just a second. <laughs> um, this is just a like a wood um, banner of stars and I thought this would be really cute hanging outside on my screen door. And then I picked up these cute little um, uh, placemats. There's four of them here for $17.99 and I used my coupon on this. No, I use my coupon on the welcome to the patch thing. Um, anyway, I love these because I can set these around the house um, with candles on them or use them as placemats or they're so versatile. I can set them outside um, on the front porch where the flowers are at. So very, very cute. Love those. And then I did get this for the front porch as well. This was $9.99 and it's just a cute little banner that says happy 4th of July. And I thought this would be cute also hanging on my um, screen door. Alrighty, these right here, I'm gonna tell you, show you why. Okay, Hold this on. is why I got these fans because there's six of them in this little container for $1.99. And hello, these are 
fantastic. I can fold them up and put them in my purse. I can put them in my car. I can carry one with me wherever I need to go because I am hot like that and I'm going to need a fan and going to Disney in a couple weeks or in what, 11 days? Oh, I'm, I'm 11 days away. Um, or am I 10 days away? God, no, I'm 11. 11 days away from Disney. Um, these will be, these are coming so in, come in, in, come in handy. Blah, blah, blah. Um, when I'm like, you know, hot, <laughs> having one of those moments. All right, let's continue on with what I picked up. Okay, so at um, 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 Kirkland's, I picked up two of these candles. This is a summer romance candle. It smells so good. Oh, I love it. Um, these are going to go in our bedroom. And these were on clearance for $3.97. So I picked up two of these. Um, and then I picked up... So there's the two candles right there. Um, then I picked up these cute little, like, boots. Um, these were also on clearance. They were regular $24.99. And I got them for $18.99. Super cute. I'm going to go put those on the front porch. And then um, I got these. Look at these pillows. These pillows are everything. I love these. Okay, these are going to go on the front porch when that time comes. And I will definitely be, um, let's see, I come back from Disney on June 2nd. And that next week, um, I will be starting to decorate for 4th of July. So I will have a 4th of July home tour coming up sometime in June once I get all of that stuff out. But I'm very, very excited about these pillows because these are so freaking cute. I just love them. And um, I, I like, so I like, I just like decorating my house. Let's just face it. Let's just face it. I love decorating on my house and I love having like things laying around. So let's go put these little lovely boots on the front porch and let's see how they look because I think they're going to look super cute. Now, I also know that people put like plants in there and all kinds of things. I haven't got any plants yet. I'm sure I can find some somewhere, but let's go figure this Alrighty, out. Alrighty, so for like right now, I think I'm going to put them right here. Um, I don't know. I was going to try to do something with this lantern, but I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with it yet. But yeah, I think um, I'm just gonna leave those there for now and a lot of you guys have said I can just take this off Which I knew that I could um, I just haven't done it yet, but I know I can just snap that right off of there So that's what I'm gonna end up doing Just oh there it is snapped it right off and I actually want to put these in another like a different pot, but I Will eventually do that. I almost bought a pot today. Oh, and that was like having a hard time coming off um, I almost bought a pot at Kirkland's, which maybe I probably should have now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, now I can't get this one off. There we go. So I'm going to throw that away. <clears throat> but yeah, that looks so much nicer there <laughs> without this stupid thing hanging. But I think I'm going to get a different pot and replant that because I know that thing likes to grow all over. Am I correct? That this thing likes to vine? So if it does, then yeah. And then I needed to ask you guys some questions. I am not a, like... I am not a like gardener, so I have no clue like what is overwatered and what needs watered. But I'm thinking that these, just a hunch, thinking that these are overwatered because you know we water them every day. But since it's been raining, we haven't, and it's been raining, so the water's been getting to them. So, all you little green thumbs out there, tell me, does this look overwatered or? Does it not look look like it doesn't have enough water? I think it's soaked. So it's soaked down in there. Like it's all mud. Yeah, I think that's like overwatered. Same with this one. I think this one is overwatered. Um, even though it looks dry, but it's still very muddy in there. So tell me what I need to do and how do I save plants from being like overwatered? And do I pull all these off so they can re ugh, so they can like, you know, regrow again? I, don't, I remember my mother-in-law always pulling these things off, the ones that have already bloomed. And she says, you have to pull those off because then they'll bloom again. So that's what I'm hoping to do. But I'm hoping like it will dry out and then we can, I don't know. I hope it's not dead because it's so pretty. Same with the one up here in the front. So pretty and I don't want them to die. And then this thing just like completely took off. Look how beautiful this pot is. My mother-in-law did a wonderful job with that. So pretty. Love it. But look at my front porch. <laughs> Love the front porch. 
so cute. I love my welcome sign. Love All right, it. so now that I'm back in the house, I am going to um, find homes for my new additions and put my pillows away, put my fall decoration away, put it in my closet, and then um, make myself some lunch. So I will um, check back in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Alrighty, so like promised, I wanted to show you guys the skirt. This is that skirt that I was talking about um, that has these scalloped edges. See, I remember. Um, this is a hot pink color, and it was $30 from J. Crew. And I did just go online and I ordered the black one, a red one, and like an ivory white one. So I will have all of these in this color. Isn't this the cutest little skirt, though? I love it. It's just so like girly and dainty with that little scalloped edge. I love it. And then I just kind of paired it with this cute little tanky that I got at Old Navy. Super cute, very cash, love it. It's very comfortable too, and I like that. So that's what I look like today, and I wore um, little brown sandals that went with it, so. Um, I was gonna show you guys how I um, put together this little, those little drawers, and I have a confession. Confession time. I went back and got two more sets of those drawers because they were $3, so please stop. I know, I know, it's crazy, I know. But I had to at $3, so this is where I put one set. So this is where I put one set, which is just right here on this little table that leads into the kitchen. Um, so here's what I did, and I actually picked up a few of these little succulents as well and added these succulents in here. And I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I've had this bottle. I ordered that on Amazon a while ago. Or did I order that on Amazon? Oh, no goodness. I think I did. I don't know. Anyway, and then I just put some house beads here or casa beads, whatever you want to call them. But anyway, this is what I did with this set of drawers. And this is what I did with the other set. Again, kind of the same little thing here. I just moved my mason jar that was sitting on the uh, hutch here. I just added inside here and then I bought some succulents to add um, all throughout this little area here. I picked up this cute little jar. All of these things were on sale. These succulents were on sale. These boxes, of course, you guys know those were on sale. This was on sale. And then I just have one single one over here. And then um, and I just added this jar that was there um, inside of here. I might, I should add some succulents in there, but I don't have any more. So I might like find some succulents and add those in there. And then the second one, the one that goes to I this. I added it down here on this little table that is in our um, living room. And I just kind of put this mason jar in there that had the flowers. And again, I think some, maybe some cre uh, green succulents hanging out of this would be kind of pretty too. But I just kind of wanted to add that in here. Um, I just think it looks cute. And um, I didn't want to put it together in the dining room on the china cabinet because that would have been a little too much. So I kind of like it, you know, how, it, how it's evened out on that side. It's, you know, it's got its little um, cuteness there. So, oh, and then I wanted to show you guys one more thing <laughs> before I end the vlog. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about my welcome sign. Okay, so that welcome sign was $60 at Kirkland's, but I got it on sale because it was on sale for $30. So again steel um so i hung up those wooden stars that i got at hobby lobby a little while ago and those look perfect here um for now i just set that there um that's definitely not going to be where it stays but for now that's where it's going to stay for now um because i was just trying to play with things and find things out so i think i like this and i like that it's subtle and that it's just there i like that it's so pretty and then again Love Alrighty it. guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog for today. Hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for a little while. If you guys did, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great weekend and I will see you guys on Monday morning.